I think it's important for people that really care about what I'm doing to kind of know what the heck's going on. This is a cute little spotted eel uh, in this pile of rubble out in the sand. This is about 45 or 50 feet deep out in the sand uh, off the coast of Florida. And it's a ways off a shore, quite a ways, probably three quarters of a mile, I'll say. Nice little burr of fish trying to hunch down and hide. And then we got these beautiful minnows. And I cannot believe there, there wasn't any lionfish on this area with all of these minnows, but that's a testament to what we're doing here. Gray trigger fish and the spotted trunk fish. That's the long tailed one you see in the long peduncle. But people have been asking, you know, what, what does this reef look like? How deep are you? You know, how do you do this? And to, to start, I need to tell you where I'm going to find these lionfish. This is not where we find lionfish typically, unless there's like a, a little oasis out here in the middle of nowhere kind of like this randomly found this chunk but let me take you this is the inside of the reef you just go a little bit further out into the ocean and you hit the actual reef which is made of you know old coral reef bed that is attached to some sort of structure uh, underneath the ground usually rocks see that picture is very blue and this picture is not so blue that was at a hundred feet deep where this is only at you know right around 50 feet deep on top of the reef and it's covered with a lot of the same stuff that you find all over the place. There's gonna be lionfish hunted in this video, by the way. So hold in there. Uh, but we got what's called gorgonias right now. And these are made of all these different organisms. There's tons of little organisms that kind of make up this entire structure. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So it takes it two or three minutes with a scooter to get across the top part of this reef. So it's about the size of a football field, maybe. Uh, it depends, it changes wherever you go. You know, you go further south, further north. Um, the structures of the reef are always a little bit different. Um, in this particular area, it doesn't have a very well-defined reef on the face or on the inside or the outside. So what we mean by inside is right when you first meet the reef, that's the inside and it's like usually a wall. And then it goes over top of the reef, gets a little shallower and goes over top of the reef and then it goes down a slope getting to deeper water in about 70 or 75 feet and right now we're at probably 65 or so we're just going to go down the edge of it right now now this is a very uneventful uh outside sometimes there are very tall fingers of of reef basically long strips of reef that jut out into the ocean um and it's pretty cool looking but you see past this there's very little there's a big sand gap and these he, I think he's eating this one, maybe. Maybe he's mating, I'm not sure. Little hermit crab there, actually quite a big hermit crab. That pile right there is a uh, tile fish pile. They'll, they'll uh, swim down into that loose rock and uh, go in there for protection. I'm also, you know, I'm speeding up the camera here. You can see it's uh, 77, it's getting deeper as I go further out in the ocean. There's one of those tile fish. Boop, there he goes. Right down into his little sand hole. And we're just gonna cruise across all this ugly, you know, just algae and, and soft, a little bit of soft coral, mainly just algae out here. And we're gonna get past this to go to the motherland. We're going to where the uh, good lionfish hunting is, and that is way out here in the patch reef. It would be over in the inside of the reef or, you know, uh, on the outside, but we've hunted them out in that area. So these invasive lionfish are found coming from the really deep and then they end up around here so this is in the 80s 85 feet or so we got some gray trigger fish and we're about to find our first lionfish because like i said you're not going to see too many on the inside the outside the top the main pretty reef that has most of the the beauty and where most people dive is not where we go there's a file fish it's called a blue scrawled file fish and they are really pretty and they like to steal your bait. So if you're a fisherman, that's who's stealing your bait most of the time. So that's pretty funny. But all these gargonias and barrel sponges and then we have some different sea fans. There's the 86. So you see, I've only been diving for a little while here and I'm already out to the area. Normally we just drop down on these areas. We don't go across the entire reef, but I was trying to find something out in the sand. So I decided to make you guys this video to kind of show you what the reef actually looks like. There's a nice little uh, big eye. They're like a type of snapper called the big eye snapper. And uh, so you see the, the sea fans and gargonias are all laying one direction. And that means that's the direction of the current. 
So the current is north today. As you can see, I'm going further out east into the ocean. Um, further west would be going towards shore, and then you have either a north or a south current. And now we find a spiny lobster here, and he's just looking cute as heck. Like most of you guys know, we only hunt lionfish, so most people would have taken that lobster and eaten it, um, but I don't believe in eating any other animal but lionfish, so, uh, you know, or any other invasive species, truly. I mean, if that's what we did, cleaned up all the invasive species before, there's 100 feet before we started eating the ones that are not invasive, I think the world would be a little bit better off. You know, whether it's a feral pig rather than a factory farm pig, that would be cool. And we find our first lionfish, hanging out in a barrel sponge boom a lot of you know a lot of you guys see me hunt these things and you think it's just you know lionfish everywhere just constantly but sometimes we have to travel a great distance before we find one um i've even been on dives where i only found one or two lionfish which doesn't make for very good video that's for sure um, i went past that lionfish just to um kind of look around the area and then i swing back and grab them Typically, that's how I do it. So, looking back towards him, look at all this pork fish. And then I go back and, and nab them up. If certain times, you know, you're not worried about lionfish running away. Um, they're content doing what they're doing. If you don't show any interest in them, they will especially be content. Um, they're very well protected with their venomous spines, so they just sit there and continue hunting little fish. And they use this strategy where they stalk little fish. And there's a nice moray. What a cutie. I wonder if he's hungry a little bit. Now, people say all the time, you know, that's awesome to feed the eels. But then a couple of people say, you know, I shouldn't, boom, feed the wildlife. And in ways, that is true. I don't recommend anyone, uh, let's see if I can get this, boom, let's see what happened. I got him, two and one spear. Um, I don't recommend that people do this because it's not that safe terribly. You know, it's not very, very safe. But eels are the one hope I have for eating lionfish. And the other day I actually had an eel strike at a lionfish without me even shooting it. Just the excitement of me around, he went ahead always coming out of the hole. So I decided to back up because see how he is aggressive, even though I never fed that eel and probably no one has, he, he can already be aggressive. So you have to be really careful and not just lay on the reef like some people do when they're catching lobsters and things. Um, he's curious and he wants food. Maybe he would, you know, boom want to have me to pet him who know who knows how nice this eel is the fact of the matter is you don't know how nice they are there he is snagging his meal so it's best to just stay away from them the as best you can and if i can trick some of these guys into starting to eat them and they teach their buddies maybe they can help to quell the problem here it's a nice coral uh and start to eat the lionfish that'd be absolutely incredible um, I don't feed sharks around here it's too dangerous um, occasionally I will feed them in other parts of the world where it is just a common thing to do because of safety you just want to boom give them what they're wanting now it's already been you know so often that they've been fed that they're not going to take any other way they're going to be you better feed me otherwise you know trouble <laughs> so I managed to find a decent amount of lionfish out here and look at all these little minnows that they were going to eat. I say minnows as a generic term for little fish, but they're not technically mud minnows. You know, they're just small fish. Look at this beautiful hogfish. And did you see that pattern change? That was kind of cool. And then we have the, the two spot butterfly fish. We have the beautiful blue angel fish. Absolutely incredible colors on that fish. People have those in their fish tanks around here, and sometimes they'll actually catch them from the ocean and put them in their fish tanks. There's a French angel fish, and that is a Spanish hogfish hanging out right behind him. And you can see there's just so much life out here. There's so many cool things, a lot of soft corals, many, many types of sponges. And there's my string that goes up to a flag all the way on the surface. So I'm at about, you know, 100 feet, 95 feet deep right now. And that flag, we have a carry a reel that has a whole bunch of line on it. Look at the school of pork fish. That's pretty cool. Usually when I see a pork fish, that leads us to lionfish. Alex told me about that a long time ago, and I agree. Uh, it's usually a good sign that there could be some lionfish around. Because wherever there's nice, healthy reef, that's where lionfish want to be. Because that's where the small fish are usually at. They don't want to live in a place with no you know, reef, no beautiful reef. They want to live in a place with all kinds of little fish and places to live and nice apartments for fish. Um, 
they like to hang out inside these barrel sponges. See how I'm just, I'm just cruising around and finally I find one, boom. But it took a little while, nabbed him right off the side of that barrel sponge. Now these guys are extremely invasive, of course. Uh, my typical followers know that and understand that we remove only these to save millions and millions of other fish. So it seems like, you know, we're hunting these specifically for that reason. And little guy here, boom. Yes, we get the little ones. Look at that. Holy mother, is a tiny one. And let's see if I can do a little shish kebab with him. That guy's so intent, boom, on eating that he didn't even think about the fact that I was coming for him. Look at that beauty. Two on one spear, twice. I did very little editing in here, so you're seeing like the real dive. This is like hanging out with me, going around the, the reef, seeing the real deal here in Florida. And this area is quite pretty. There's a, a decent amount of coral. Uh, other places in the world where we've been over in the South Pacific, 99 feet deep, um, it's much more covered in coral. Um, but not always. Sometimes over there you'll see a reef that is pretty nasty and doesn't have that much reef. Boom. So here it's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's not just rock. There's a lot of stuff on those rocks. And it looks dull right now because we're at 100 feet deep. You're not going to see the color you would at 20 feet deep. So that's how she goes. Now I'm up here waiting for the boat. Alex is actually driving the boat. He's usually driving my boat. Here it comes, South Florida Diving Headquarters. And that's a pretty boat. They actually just got it back in the water this week. And they're gonna do a reef cleanup this weekend. And we have a lionfish tournament this weekend. So Alex and I are gonna be getting so many lionfish along with our friend Alex Jones and Ryan. Thanks guys.